Perhaps you just sold your company, or maybe you have been saving up your entire life for your dream retirement home, or even just had a successful windfall from a business deal you've just completed, and now you want the best of the best. Today, we're gonna to talk about the five most expensive places to live in Northern Michigan. If you're like my clients who have found themselves in this position, the first question you're probably asking yourself is, what does my dream home look like? Does it have to be directly on the water? with a dock that you can have your boat in the backyard? Does it have to have a water view where you can watch the million dollar sunsets? What things do you absolutely want and have to have in your new dream home? Regardless of what you decide, I have the place for you. Now let's get into the list, starting with the least expensive of the group, and make sure you stick around to the end to find out who wins the crown for the most expensive place to live in Northern Michigan. Number one and least expensive of the list is Harbor Springs, with an average home price of 875 which is way up from just five years ago when the average home sale price in Harbor Springs was $414,000. In my opinion, Harbor Springs is the quintessential resort town. When you think about the old days and people resorting in Northern Michigan, Harbor Springs is surely the first thing to come to mind. I love the charming downtown and I do love that there are some private places such as Harbor Point, where you can live there and not be bothered by any outsiders. Also, one of my favorite things to do in the summertime is ride my bike along the street in the Wequitazing Association, which reminds me of Mackinac Island on one side and the beautiful bay on the other side. One thing that does keep the prices down at Harbor Springs are there are a lot of everyday houses that are still expensive, but not quite as expensive as the resort homes that sell for millions and millions of dollars. And I think that's really a great asset to Harbor Springs because if you don't have a giant budget, you can still find a house there and live the exact same lifestyle, which is one of the things I love about Harbor Springs, because even if you don't have a big budget, you can still buy a house there and live 80% to 90% of the same lifestyle as people who spend much more on their home. Number two on the list is Bay Harbor. Now I know what you're thinking, if Bay Harbor is the second most affordable of the list of the most expensive places to live in Northern Michigan, how expensive are the next three? One thing that you may not know about Bay Harbor is above the shops downtown, there is what we call the Marina District. Now that is a hotel that also allows the units to be sold to private individuals. You can either use them yourself or rent them out, and they usually trade for somewhere between four and five hundred thousand dollars And now there are enough of those that sell every year that drive the average sale price of Bay Harbor down. Now don't worry, Bay Harbor is still alive and well with many sales in excess of a million dollars with the top sale this year being 3.8 million. In a while back, I did a video about the true cost of living in Bay Harbor. And if you remember, just buying the house in Bay Harbor is only the start. Then you have to join the Yacht Club, which comes with its own dues. And then also your association is gonna have dues and you might even have neighborhood dues in Bay Harbor as well, making it still a very expensive place to live. Number three on the list is Torch Lake. Known for its Caribbean blue waters and giant sandbar parties, Torch Lake is one of the most sought after lakes in Northern Michigan. Not only is Torch Lake known for its great boating, but it's also a great lake to fish in. For those of you that like to fish, you'll be happy to know that you can catch lake trout, bass, and even Atlantic salmon. I took my son on a charter fishing trip last year in Torch Lake, and he caught a huge Atlantic salmon, and it was the highlight of his year. There have been 37 sales in the last year on Torch Lake, with the average coming in at $1.4 million, and the highest sale being $6.3 million. Coming in at number four of the most expensive places to live in Northern Michigan is Lake Charlevoix. Now, while Lake Charlevoix does not have the highest average sale, it has had seven sales over $5 million in the last five years, which is an astounding fact. One thing buyers love about Lake Charlevoix is the boating. There are many different ways you can boat on Lake Charlevoix. You can have a pontoon boat, a wake boat, or even a large cruiser that you can take around the world. One of the things I personally like about Lake Charlevoix is you get the experience of living on a large inland lake, and as I mentioned before, access to Lake Michigan, which allows you to go almost anywhere. One thing that is interesting about Lake Charlevoix is it covers a number of towns and has two very long arms. Once you decide that Lake Charlevoix is right for you, you need to pick which town is right for you, between Boyne City, East Jordan, and of course Charlevoix. Each one of those areas offers something a little bit different, and you should take the time to tour all of them to make sure you find the perfect spot on Lake Charlevoix. 
Now, we have reached the end of the video and it is time to crown the most expensive place to live in Northern Michigan. The most expensive place to live in Northern Michigan is Walloon Lake. Now, if you're familiar with Northern Michigan, this doesn't surprise you. Now, in my entire 22 year career, Walloon Lake has always been the most expensive place to live in Northern Michigan. And that does not appear to be changing anytime soon. Now, I get asked a lot, what makes a little lake like Walloon so expensive? I believe a couple of factors come into play to make Walloon the most expensive place in Northern Michigan to live. First and foremost, everybody knows that Walloon Lake is exclusive and prestigious. It is a very small lake compared to other lakes in the area, meaning there are only so many houses on the lake to have. With the demand being as high as it is, that definitely drives the value up, especially with the nice houses being either renovated or being completely built from scratch on the lake. Also, Walloon Lake has historical significance because it was Ernest Hemingway's favorite retreat. Now let's talk about the numbers. Just five years ago, the average sale on Walloon Lake was $1.1 million. And I remember back then selling clients houses for 900, 875, 950, and those under million dollar houses. And there seemed to be a handful of houses that you could buy that needed some work under a million dollars on Walloon Lake every year. Fast forward just five years later and the average sale on Walloon Lake is $2.4 million. And I believe the reason for this is there have been a lot of extensively renovated houses, a lot of brand new construction of very large homes that have driven the average sale price on Walloon Lake up. And also, even five years ago, there wasn't a lot of inventory on Walloon, but there were always houses available. Now, it seems like the MLS almost never has a house available on Walloon Lake. And when they do come on, they're either sold before they hit the MLS or sell a day or two after they're on the public market. And in case you're wondering, the highest sale on Walloon Lake in the last year is $6.3 million. Now that we've talked about the five most expensive places to live in Northern Michigan, drop a comment below. Let me know which of these places on the list surprised you and which didn't. And if you've been to any of them, what you prefer about each area. And for more videos like this and everything else Northern Michigan real estate related, please subscribe to my channel.